Muy buenas a todos, empezamos el cuarto episodio, disfraz de cordero, y tengo que decirlo, me muero de ganas por continuar con la historia de Big B porque... Después de... de ver cómo termina el tercer episodio... Tengo que saber qué es lo que está pasando aquí porque... Ese final fue totalmente inesperado y épico... Pero vamos allá, empezamos el cuarto episodio. to look human you're going to the farm it's as simple as that do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour i can't finish the mirror it's missing a piece crane must have taken a shard with him the open arms enjoy your stay thanks bigby and thanks for covering for me last time too bigby how could you do this to me I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No, 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 ella no. See around. Espera, ¿ha sido un sueño? Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay though. Dios, Big B, estás. Be okay? His internal organs are positively. Estás muy mal. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver. He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Hostia, el brazo. Keep me in this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? What happened to me? There was. You got lucky. And found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon, me. El brazo. Alguien puede. El brazo. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can save it himself. Ay dios. Vale, vamos a ello, pero vamos a ello. Esto te va a doler. Ay, Big B. Esto va a doler. Ay, Dios. Oh, joder. Big B, ya está. Ya está. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. Eh, vale, gracias, doctor, pero no se cortate un poco. Next time, if he keeps going like this, he didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I think I should stay, at least until he's 
Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... I'd, uh... I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. Una forma sutil de decirlo, pero sí. Don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow. I'd never leave you. Yeah, you no, really Colin, cállate. Up, Acabas de arruinar un momento like precioso. Colin, cállate. Tío, no podías esperar un minuto. Acabas de arruinar un momento precioso, tío. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible Yo me quedaría con la primera opción. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Sí, What estoy con Colin. He traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Oh, qué bonito. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. 
But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Espera, espera, ¿y cuál es la forma correcta? Eso mismo. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything. Eh, a ver, a ver, a ver, eso no. No. Creo que paso del tema. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night? Espera, Blanca, pero ¿Le estás echando la culpa de eso también? We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself, to justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation... Oh, no, de eso nada, no. All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. No, eso no es así, venga ya. everybody out of trouble. And what if Amundi does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. No, eso sí que no. Estoy con Blanca en... casi siempre, pero eso de enviar a todo el mundo a la granja paso del tema. Eso sí que no. Okay, I'll let him know. Por eso sí que no paso. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? No sé quién. Nerissa. Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. Vaya, qué interesante. Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You sí, eso mismo. Well with the uh, disenfranchised. Um... Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. No sé, pero puede que Colin tenga razón. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Ay ay, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? 
I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Estoy con Blanca casi siempre, pero eso de enviar a todo el mundo a la granja me parece de lo más despreciable. Last night, I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Bigby. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Mm hmm. Qué raro. No sé, hay algo raro en todo esto. Hay algo muy raro. Todavía no sé qué es, pero hay algo raro. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. Ese encanto me está empezando a mosquear bastante. I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. 
I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but Pero but It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Espera esto. Hmm? Do you? It was. It Espera, is... aquí hay algo raro. Hay algo raro. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? La cinta. Así que es la cinta. No, aquí hay algo más que la cinta. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No. Nerisa? What? You can't. Just stay back. Ah, vale. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Vaya, así que okay. son las cintas. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Espera, si las quitas, no puede ser. Vale, creo que ya entiendo cómo va esto. No pasa nada, ya nos ocupamos nosotros. Listen, sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell me. No te preocupes. Thank you. Vaya, esto sí que es una situación incómoda. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. That was abrupt. Por así decirlo. One way to send a message. Una forma de enviar un mensaje. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. 